Hello and welcome to the very first of my top top travel tips for trains. I'm here to talk to you, once I get them out of my, my little rail card, wallet, about uh, one of these uh, single tickets. So naturally, I tend, most people tend to get uh, a return ticket if they're doing like a day trip out or get Sunday tickets when you're doing it on a Sunday. Um, but sometimes if you are spending the night somewhere or you're going a very long way, sometimes it's simply cheaper to get uh, two single tickets than it is to buy a return. So when I was trying to get this trip done, I put in the names Swanwick to, Fair, to, to Nutborn and it came up with the option of uh, two, no, three very big day returns, which wasn't what I, which, which wasn't what I wanted, or two singles, a single out, five pounds, and a single back. If it's cheaper to get two singles, you, you, should, you should take it. It's not something that will be very obvious, especially if you're going out on, on a Wednesday and coming back on a Thursday. Uh, you may have to book it separately. Check when you're putting it into the, into the computer, do it with, do the, re, the return first and set the date to a, you know, day one and day two. If it doesn't show a return, just a, re, not a day return, just a return, which are usually return within one month or return within seven days or something like that. If it doesn't show either of those, then book a single to go out and then book another single to come back. It's the easiest thing to do. Future travel tips will go out for, for trains, for cars, for bikes and for, uh, for ferries, of course. Uh, I hope you, hope you found this useful and um, keep an eye out for more travel tips with trains.